What a putrid offering. since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. I used to be an avid reader. Been too long since I've slept in a bed. I should get rid of all this stuff. Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. I have business here to attend to. I have business here. Holding your position and obeying orders, that isn't courage. I have business here. Thank you. 
related matter? May I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, are you still... I'm coming. <clears throat> Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. <laughs> All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl, she is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. What's this symbol on the man's chest? It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these... elements? The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. Darkwater. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. 
you must find out the truth about her life and death. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Darkwater. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water.
Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Uh, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the stranded whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Hey, Sullivan, can't you go any faster? You've seen how old this thing is. If we force it too much, we'll break everything. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Killer whales have few predators. And there are no sharks in these waters. What creature could possibly have done this? You can't understand. You're not sick. These wounds. I know of no animal that could have inflicted them. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't... Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters! You're crazy! They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Get it. Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. Pure instinct. I behaved like a Hun. And I sincerely apologize. Veteran, huh? 307th Infantry Regiment. Right. Well, that'll be okay for now. But the war is over. Try not to forget it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. 
I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there were rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. You want a drink? I wouldn't say no to a glass. Try this. I think we'll get along well. The Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water, when our whalers left for long months and came back sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah, well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. Her vision, was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? I've got what I need. Anything else? That'll be all for now. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman cat. The Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. This blackboard hasn't been used in a long while.
This man and Fitzroy could be twins. What a macabre souvenir. I've brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. I've brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. But that's all I'll get from them. Shysters, you're crazy! They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to do it. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights at the stranded whale. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I don't know. It's not my signature next to that of Charles Hawkins. I'm at sea for more than half the year. Anyone could have done it during my absence. What seems really important to me is that the dates on these manifests indicate that Charles probably had other contracts. But not with you, though. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. I examined its wounds. I know of no creature able to cause them. And I took you for a detective. 
Believe me when I say that these wounds are significant. Come, come. You've only just arrived on Darkwater, and already you think like a sailor. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. I was looking at your photograph. The one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it, if you're interested. I found a threatening letter, signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that, but she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. to treat us like this. And the doctor, what did he say? What you looking at, stranger? The clientele is predominantly male. Tell me something I don't know. I meant nothing by it. I'm just wondering what a woman like you is doing in this flea trap. And I'm wondering what could be going through the head of the chump who goes to disturb her. Let me drink, stranger. I told you to beat it. I told you to beat it. Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker. And a debtor. Interesting. He's gonna get us into trouble. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. These wounds. I know of no animal that could have inflicted them. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. The cops, they can't understand. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. I've never heard of this saint. Is it a local belief? But everyone knows Saint Brendan, the navigator. He's the patron saint of whales and whalers. What happened to the statue? Go see for yourself. He's at the end of the jetty. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. 
there's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to Dark Water? I've taken enough of your time. We'll see you later. Hmm. Damnation. I broke it. It's no use. The padlock won't give. St. Brendan, patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in. out I'll have serious problems with how could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded keep your voice down why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat it's a stiletto you idiot and with that smell on your breath I don't give you much chance anyway this guy? No idea. You better keep it shut. <laughs> What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. It'll stink less. I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's gonna be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. And we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. I went to see the statue of St. Brendan. What makes you think we did it? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by themselves. The sailors. Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? Cap. She's your boss. What? You listen through keyholes. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> She redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope he had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> she sounds frightening, you.
And she doesn't like to be talked about behind her back. I bid you, gentlemen, farewell. Where do you think you're going? I thought that the Hawkins case had been closed. That's true. So what are you doing on guard duty in front of this warehouse? <laughs> Who's asking the questions here, the cop or the tourist? Who are these others so interested in the warehouse? And why would I tell you? You and I are on the same side of the law. Oh yeah? You don't want to know the truth behind this case. Are you saying our work was not up to snuff? Forget it. What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion went up in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's... dangerous. What do you mean by that? The only one left there is old Silas. And the accident has affected him badly. He can be unpredictable, especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor, leave him well alone. You again? I told you to beat it. No need to get worked up. You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her. Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. She's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, nose around too much, you'll have dealings with her. This warehouse looks abandoned. Why does it interest them so much? No doubt a question of territory, but I ain't asking. If you want to know more, go ask the captain. Good. Thank you. I shall take my leave. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. I could use this old winch to lift the...
A ratchet device. Exactly what I need. This handle will be perfect for the winch. A whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. It should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. Looks like everything is in its place. All that's left is to try to turn this handle. Well, well. A little mouse has got lost on our turf. You're not only inquisitive, you're also stupid. What gave you the crazy idea to come onto my turf? Your turf? That's news to me. For a guy who has no idea, you've been doing a fair bit of poking around. My men saw you staking out the Hawkins warehouse. Is that against the law? I'm no idiot. Detective, I'll tell you how things work around here. I decide who comes in and who stays out. 
and anyone who doesn't respect my rules, I punish them. Is your name Cat? What of it? Maybe we can come to an understanding. Maybe. Or maybe not. Get this Joker out of here. He might have a little trouble walking on his own. Oh, I'm getting careless. I didn't see that coming. If I want to get into this warehouse, I'm going to have to deal with her.